cannon antenna this small cover the bands 40 meters through to 10 meters. It's a magnetic loop, but is it a magic loop? We take a look. Hello once again, it's product time. We're going to have a look at a product, a new product. You know, for a long time we've been selling the Alex Loop. We've been the main importers for the Alex Loop. And it's been a very successful uh, antenna. It's a magnetic loop. But recently it's been upgraded. The new model now is known as the Hampack. And it's still a magnetic loop, but this time it comes in a very handy rucksack. A rucksack that will not only hold the loop, but also your radios. If you've got an 818 or an 817, IC705, KX2, KX3, they'll all fit in there easily, plus lots of accessories. I think even the sandwiches will go in the rucksack. So it's a nice package. The other good thing is that it's a, a redesign. The tuner or the matching unit now is so much better. It's really nice. So let's take a look at the new Alex Loop, or should it be the ham pack? And should it be the magnetic loop or the magic loop? Let's see. Right, we're going to have a look at the new Alex Loop hand pack. And as you see in the first image here, it's a self-contained antenna system, which is in a very smart and convenient rucksack. I've opened the front here and you can see inside there are two further bags which can be used for carrying accessories or transceiver etc. And I'll show you those in a moment. And in the centre is the control box which is held in place with the Velcro for travelling. Now you can see the two inner bags removed. And they're quite spacious actually. You certainly get a transceiver and uh, plenty of accessories in there. Now I've turned the rucksack round and you can see that there's the usual carry uh, shoulder straps there. With the front panel down you can now see the control box and the supporting um, tubes inside which form the centre support for the antenna system. And also poking out the top in the rear pouch is the uh, element which is uh, very thick and high quality uh, semi uh, stiff uh, coax cable. I've turned it around here sideways so you can see the uh, element sitting in the back pouch. I call it a pouch, it's, it's quite large actually. And I think you can also just see there's a side pouch there as well. Now here I've placed the IC705 into one of the inner bags and you can see there's plenty of room for that so that will easily uh, fit in there for travelling. Here's the loop assembled. I'll cover the assembly in more detail. It's uh, very easy to assemble and equally uh, quick and easy to uh, pack down and put it back into the rucksack. But going a bit closer, you can see the control box. This control box is being completely redesigned. It's much better than the old control box. And if we go in a bit closer here, you can see it in more detail. It's got those little sort of size handles on there, basically to protect the uh, vernier dial. If you lay it down, uh, the dial won't be uh, hitting the ground, so that's uh, quite a good uh, point. For my first test, I took the antenna system out in my motorhome. Well, it's a gorgeous day here, and uh, brought the van down to a bit of open ground on the edge of the River Crouch, which is behind that uh, mound. 
you can see in the distance and uh, the Alex loop seems to be working well. Lots of signals on 20 metres, I can work um, one European station after another, provided they're around about S7 or so, then I usually get a response, so there's no problem with uh, working the stations. And here's the operating position in the van, quite, uh, quite uh, cosy, got a nice chair behind me there, and a table to operate on. We've got the window open. Actually, I could do with slightly longer coax cable. I should have to put an extension on there because uh, I could do with another couple of metres of uh, cable. But uh, anyway, um, it's dead easy. Just pick up the uh, 705, take it outside, make sure we've got resonance, and then just bring it inside, put it on the table, and uh, you're ready to go. And for those who can't read CW, this was a 40 metre contact with um, a guy called Hermann in, or near Bonn in Germany. I had a few more contacts and uh, it's quite a successful uh, morning. The antenna comes with approximately three metres of feeder cable. And this feeder cable is terminated in a BNC connector. The BNC connector is a rugged BNC connector with a spring cable retainer. The main coax element is semi-rigid coax and that folds neatly into a loop and is held in place with two pieces of Velcro, Velcro strap. Now the main element is connected to both sides of the uh, tuner using a good quality PL259 connector. One of the most important parts of a magnetic loop is the coupling and this is a rigid metal plastic coated loop and that couples into the coaxial element there and the coaxial element is actually fastened to the top of the centre support which I'll show you in a second. This is the main element and that clips firmly onto the centre support there and is held rigidly in place. Now let's have a look at the three central component parts. You've got the centre support there, that's the top support with the coupling loop and this is the bottom support which has the tuner attached to it. This is the top section showing the coupling loop. The centre unit is simply a plain tube. Into the bottom goes the tuner section and into the top goes the loop section. The base unit has a hollow section so you can fit some sort of tube inside it or use it as a handhold. This is probably one of the best um, locations sometimes for your portable operation in your garden or somebody else's garden <laughs> or park. Um, I've got a portable table here which uh, comes out of my van actually um, but now I can operate I've got the radio here I've got the key here I can adjust the uh, tuning on the uh, tuning dial here you can I'm not sure you'll pick that up on the uh, microphone but uh, it's very easy to uh, adjust the tuning and here I am operating there's a glass of wine, oh, a cup of coffee, a glass of beer perhaps, and uh, listening for whatever's on the band, which is not a lot at the moment. Actually, I'm down the there we are. I'm down the uh, CW end of 40 meters. Probably not the best uh, band. Let's uh, let's try uh, 20 meters. Uh, right, turn this uh, knob to tune it. I'll talk more about this tuning knob in a minute. 
as well. Right. Oh, this is the FT8. Let's go further up the band. See this really side band. There's a nice strong signal. I like this arrangement. I can tune my antenna there. I can tune my radio. I've got my CW key or perhaps microphone if you're into that. So I tend to operate a lot of CW. Yes, it's a nice operating position actually. And the idea of being able to tune the antenna on the nose. But of course, if I want to change bands, it's very easy. I can, I can change to, uh, let's go on to 18 megs. I'll go on to 18 megs. And there's my rig all tuned up on 18 megs. But uh, I can go from one band to the other. I want to go back to um, 40 meters, uh, then just tap the screen here on the 705. Dead quiet now because uh, the, the antenna is completely off tune. But if I bring it up, you'll probably hear the noise coming up. But you know, this is, um, it's a good antenna this. It's great fun. Um, I said, was it the magic antenna? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure that it's a magic antenna. It's certainly a magnetic loop. But I think the magic about it is that it works so well from such a small footprint. And um, it's, uh, it certainly is as compact as you could ever hope for. The downside is that you have to keep retuning this as you move across the band. It's not so bad on 20 meters, but on 40 meters, um, I would say that every 25 or 30 kilohertz you have to move. That's not a bad thing actually, because it's a wonderful front end uh, filter. But let me show you um, this, this, what I like about this tuning control. I've used a number of magnetic loops and this can be a bit of a problem because the tuning is very fine, particularly on 40 meters. And what I like about this design, it's a nice slow motion dial. You have no problem at all in adjusting it for the uh, right position. Some of the loops I've tried have got either no slow motion drive or a very poor slow motion drive. And you touch it and then you move your hand away and it needs to be adjusted again. On this, I couldn't detect any sign of hand capacity at all. So it was very easy to adjust and you can adjust it on receive. And I think I showed you already that you've got this little um, LED dial there, which, uh, which will light up. Now, I'm not sure whether you can see this in this sunlight. I can certainly see it, um, but well, the camera is. I'll move the camera around so you can get a better view of that um, that LED uh, the light there. Right, I think you should be able to see it now. There we are. I'm sending CW. Turn the sound up and you can see hear it a bit. It's a very definite peak there. If sun's in your eyes you can just go like that and it's dead easy to see them but the point is that in normal daylight you can see that so that's a great great asset now i'm going to show you why slow motion dial is important on i hope you can see this in the sunlight the second line up is the vswr meter see i can tune it right down Very easy to get on the nose. 
Now, the only way you'll do that successfully, repeatedly, is with a decent slow motion dial. And uh, that's, uh, that's why this slow motion dial is so important. So there we are, that's the Alex loop. And of course it comes in that lovely rucksack. So it means to say that you can put the antenna and the radio and the accessories and your sandwiches and your flask of tea or whatever else you like in your flask all in the rucksack and go off for the day and I think it's one of the best combinations now I know I've demonstrated it here with the IC705 but it's also ideal for any other QRP radio you've got I've used this antenna indoors as well and it does work indoors I've had some CW QSOs on 40 meters uh, in my conservatory and it, it works it works okay it obviously works better outside I, I haven't actually found magnetic loops are super directional if you turn it through 90 degrees you very often can get a little bit of signal peak but it's not dramatic it's not like it's there and it's gone perhaps some, something like 5 or 6 dB um, it all depends but I ha haven't found it super directional but it is fun to turn it because if you get an extra 6 dB it's worth having particularly when you're running QRP now this loop will handle 25 watts so you can pump into it uh, a lot more power than I've been putting into it I've been putting it in, into the antenna 5 watts so you can put 25 watts now 25 watts is not a bad power I mean it's going to give you what um, three, you're going to get six, eight, eight or nine dB gain if you put 25 watts in to this antenna compared with the five watts on from the IC705 if you use it with the KX2, the KX2 will actually give you 10 watts um, from the uh, transceiver if you've got a uh, more conventional rig that you can run off battery is fine but you just do remember to keep that power level down to no more than 25 watts sort of and I put a reminder somewhere on the on the back of your wrist <laughs> or on the aerial that you mustn't run more than 25 watts but 25 watts with this loop I think you can have great fun so I think I've well I hope I've covered it in as much detail as I possibly can you'll probably gather that I do like this loop and I've we've been doing the LX loop for some while now and I think this is probably their best model and it's got everything that uh, you could wish for it covers all the bands 40 meters through to 10 meters um, which means it covers the warp bands if you want to listen in between those spaces fine it'll go down to around about six and a half megs on receive um, so you can listen anywhere from about six and a half megs up to 30 megahertz and uh, the QSY is, is very quick. And what, 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 what can I say about it? It's the Alex loop. I like it. So I hope the video has been as informative as I hope it would be for you. And do appreciate you watching these videos. And I mean, here we are with this lovely sunny weather, this lovely spring weather that um, I hope heralds a good summer. But even, even if it's not brilliant, you can get out there and uh, do a bit of QRP work. And, um, well, there we are. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. And if you've got any further queries on this antenna or you want to do a deal on the radio and the antenna, then just ring our, si our sales guys up in Portsmouth. They'll be happy to help you. In the meantime, take care. Speak soon.